Hello and welcome chemist. In this demonstration we're going to look at the reactivity of a few of the different halogens, notably chlorine, bromine, and iodine. We're taking the elemental form of these elements, so I2, Br2, and Cl2. Each of these elements are dissolved in a little bit of water to make all of these solutions aqueous solutions. We are going to test the reactivity of all of these elements by reacting them with the ionic form of the other corresponding elements. Uh, for example, we're going to react chlorine or Cl2 with sodium bromide and sodium iodide. Uh, we're going to react bromine with the corresponding chloride and iodide, and then iodine with the corresponding chlorine and bromide to see uh, which one is the most reactive. As a general rule of thumb, we're going to find that the one that wants to become the ion in the reaction is going to be the more reactive species. Uh, so here we added a little bit of cyclohexane to the top of each halogen. Uh, by doing this, it allows the halogen, which is a nonpolar molecule, to get dissolved in the upper layer of the cyclohexane. We do this so that when we add the corresponding sodium salts to see if these things react, we can look at the top layer uh, and see what element is in that top layer. And that'll tell us if a reaction occurred or if a reaction did not occur. Now that each solution is mixed up, we're going to start by adding sodium bromide and sodium iodide to the flask that contains the chlorine. Uh, you can notice that you see a color change right away. Uh, we're going to add the sodium chloride and sodium iodide to the bromine solution. Uh, first, it looks like nothing happens when we add the sodium chloride to the bromide, and we see some color change adding the sodium iodide to the bromine. Uh, so now we add some sodium chloride and sodium bromide to both of the iodine flask, and at first glance we don't see any color change. Okay. So now we're going to mix up the tubes to get everything uh, reacted and mixed together. Uh, so we can now see a, an orange layer on top of the first chlorine tube, which indicates that we have Br2 that has formed. Uh, the second tube, we can see the purple color, which tells us we have iodine forming in the second chlorine tube. Uh, in the third tube, you could, we just still see bromine on top, so there's no reaction with that third tube. Uh, on the fourth tube, we can see uh, iodine starting to form, but we're going to have to mix that one up a little bit more. And then the last tube tubes we see iodine still there so we can tell that there's no reaction. Based on the results of these experiments we can conclude that chlorine was the most reactive of the three halogens that we tested uh, with iodine being the least reactive. Thank you guys for watching and please tune in for more chemistry demonstrations.